Check. Check one. Check Ready two. Ready to roll intro? Four. Three. Two. One. Good evening. My name is Kevin Withy. I am a cooperative education instructor at SCTC. Welcome to the virtual final award ceremony. This year is a year of uncharted times. It is unfortunate that we are dealing with COVID-19 pandemic and social distancing. However, this is also a time to celebrate the success of our students. Though we are not gathered in person, we will be gathered through technology. We all miss our students in classroom, labs, daily interaction, and stories. We would like to honor our students' success this week and wish you well in your endeavors. Students will be receiving a certificate and a cord for completing their programs. Each instructor will be contacting their students to hand them out. We hope you enjoy the program. I am Janelle Saucier. I work in the Digital Graphics Program with Jeremy Bork, as well as the Job Skills Program with Dan Foss. It is my pleasure tonight to introduce our SCT staff members. First the SCTC Director, David Doerr, Student Services Coordinator, Ann Tibetot, Career Counselor, Alana Wakeham, Administrative Assistant, Jane Libby, Automotive Technology, Mark Wilson, Educational Technician, Mike Baker, Certified Nursing Assistant, Lacey Butters, Clinical Site Supervisors, Samantha McLaughlin, Kayla Labrie, Michelle Hopper, Taylor Staples, Corporate Education, Katie Flood, and Kevin Withy. Culinary Arts, Matt Crate. Digital Graphics, Jeremy Bork. Early Childhood Education, Jenny France. Electrical Construction, Eric Sylvain. Emergency Medical Technician, Sherry Volta. Job Skills, Dan Boss. Outdoor Leadership and Skills, Seren Seren. Pre-Engineering, Kimberly McEwen, Residential Construction, Vern Worthen, Welding, Sam Baker. At this time, I want to say how proud I am of all our students. We have a great group of students at SCTC. It just amazes me we have 60 students with perfect attendance for the whole school year. I want to give a special shout out to the four students who have perfect attendance for two years, Riley Larry. Riley Stock, Andrew Ireland, and Trenton Basford. Congratulations and best luck in the future. And now I present our director, David Doerr. Good evening. I'm David Doerr, I'm the director of the Somerset Career and Tech Center. It's my privilege to welcome you this evening to our final night of our award ceremony. Every year we get to this point, we say, wow, this year has gone fast, but it seems like this year, this year said, oh yeah, watch this. So here we are, not inside a gym, uh, doing everything over Facebook Live. 
So this is my last year to address you as a, as a class. And it's been an amazing class. We have 218 completers this year. You are all amazing students. Remember when I, I said when you got here that you have the ability to do great things. And I repeated that at each assembly, that you have the ability, each of you, to do great things. But I also said that uh, greatness is not going to be a lightning strike. It's not going to be that one time thing that it's going to happen over time. A lot of little decisions, a lot of uh, small choices, a lot of action. But, and over time, it's going to accumulate into something great. So just remember that and don't get frustrated. Keep doing your work. Go out and get it. Remember when you got here that you stepped out of your comfort zone to come to SETC. You're going to have to do the same thing to achieve greatness. Success. This measured in a couple of different ways. First, you know, what you've accomplished. Secondly, what you've overcome. I know some of you guys are struggling and we struggle with you. You are in some difficult situations and yet you managed to show up every day. Not only did you show up, you excelled. To me, that's very humbling and it re-energizes my commitment to do whatever I can to help you to succeed. You deserve nothing less. Again, you all have the ability to do great things. I need that to be the voice in your head. Never ever give up. You are going to make a difference. I know this because you already have. Step out of your comfort zone like you did when you came here and you'll do great. Parents, grandparents, siblings, family, friends, loved ones, your support is critical to these students as they strive to continue in this, in this uh, world to make their own path. Hope is a powerful emotion. Give these students the encouragement they will need to push on. Staff, you continue to impress me and I truly appreciate everything you do. Thank you. I would also like to uh, recognize Ann Tibetot, who is retiring after 23 years of being the student services coordinator here at SCTC. She has been a catalyst to, for many of the changes that have happened over the last few years. Thank you for your compassion, your energy, your ideas, and your support. You absolutely have made a difference in the lives of students. I want to recognize Jen France, who was recently named the 2020 Somerset County Teacher of the Year. She does a great job and is an amazing part of our team. And lastly, I want to thank Jeremy for all the work that he's done putting these videos together over these last four nights. It has been a lot of work but I think it's well worth it. Thank you so much. Enjoy the evening. Good evening. I will be awarding the first scholarship tonight. The first scholarship that I'll be awarding is sponsored by the Skowhegan Class of 1961. Members of this class have had successful careers and made countless contributions to society. This scholarship is their way of giving something back to the community, the school, and the digital graphics program. This year's recipient strives to do her best no matter what the situation. She has grown to become a leader, and always encourages other students to do more and to become more. This student's commitment and passion to never give up will help her overcome any challenges and make her successful. This year's Skowhegan High School Class of 1961 scholarship recipient will be attending Massachusetts College of Art and Design. Congratulations, Amanda Neese. This evening, I have the privilege of giving the Scott Burgess Memorial Scholarship. The scholarship will be going to Caleb Ouellette. He's going to EMCC for automotives. Okay. Hello, my name is Nicole Breton, and I am pleased to present the Armin G. Breton Memorial Scholarship. 
This scholarship goes to a student that has excelled in the construction program and is continuing along the construction career pathway. My father taught residential construction in Skowhegan for over 20 years, and the program that he designed served as a model for other high schools in the state of Maine to follow. As an educator, my dad created a classroom environment that supported critical thinking and where making mistakes were lessons. He served as a mentor leader to many and created lifelong relationships with many of his students. He was an advocate for his students and also helped the entire student body, whether it was a concession stand for the field hockey team or props for the drama department. You could depend on Mr. Bratton. As a coach, he taught respect, responsibility, and the importance of a strong work ethic. He would be impressed with the caliber of student that has received the scholarship in his name, including today's. The recipient of this year's scholarship participated in both the pre-engineering and residential construction programs, and he will be attending the University of Maine at Orono. Congratulations, Spencer Honeywell. Hi, this is Mr. Seren from Outdoor Leadership and Skills, and this year's Skowhegan Sportsman's Club Scholarship is going to go to Romeo Sabri, who is going to attend Orono in the fall um, for the forestry program. Best of luck to you, Romeo. At this time, I would like to um, announce our customer appreciation scholarship for culinary arts. So each year, the culinary arts program here at SCTC gives a $500 customer appreciation scholarship generated from tips uh, from customers and events that we host. Um, this year's recipient has given an amazing two years of effort in culinary arts, has dedicated, uh, decided to pursue a career in this field, will be attending uh, Southern Maine Community College this fall in their culinary arts program. Um, she has two program leaders awards for diligence and dependability. She is part of the National Technical Honor Society. Um, diligent, thorough, reliable, and a general pleasure to be around is how I would describe this young lady. Uh, and congratulations to Madison Damon. Hi everyone, my name is Jacqueline Frazier and I graduated from Skowhegan as well as the SCTC Digital Graphics Program in 2015. Since then, I have attended Wentworth Institute of Technology in Boston and graduated with a Bachelor's of Science in Interior Design last year. I now work as an interior designer at a large architecture firm in downtown Boston. However, right now I'm currently working from home right here in Skowhegan. I will forever be thankful for the digital graphics program for jumpstarting my interest in communicating through graphics and helping me get to where I am today. Because of this, I am here to award the DG Print Shop Scholarship. This scholarship is given to a digital graphics student who has completed two years in the program and is attending college in the fall with a focus in graphic design, marketing, or communications. This year, we have two recipients. They both are always focused on their work and are persistent to achieve and complete the task at hand. The first recipient is Riley Larry, who's going to KBCC. And the second recipient is Anika Stewart, who's going to USM. Congratulations and good luck to all who are graduating. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jessica Polvenin and will be presenting the Polvenin Racing Joanne Polvenin Memorial Scholarship. My mother-in-law Joanne worked many years at her family's auto repair business. Her passions included her family and photography. Very rarely was there an event she didn't attend and photograph. Joanne was also a huge supporter of hands-on training through CTE Career and Technical Education and was happy when her son Adam graduated from a technical center. The scholarship was established to recognize a student who intends to further his or her studies in the field of photography, graphic design, or marketing. This year's Polvenin Racing, Joanne Polvenin Memorial Scholarship is awarded to a student who will be attending the University of Maine and majoring in marketing. Congratulations, Isabel McLaughlin. Good evening. As an employee of Reddington Fairview General Hospital, it is my pleasure to be able to present the SCTC scholarship on Reddington's behalf. The individual receiving this award is a very deserving recipient. 
I had the pleasure of working with this young lady during her junior year in high school. I watched her grow as a leader and transform into an amazing healthcare provider. She has been a positive role model for her peers. She was captain of the varsity soccer team, president of student council, and treasurer for the National Honor Society. Her plan for the fall is to attend the University of Southern Maine for nursing. The recipient is Lydia LaPointe from Skowhegan Area High School. Congratulations. Hello. The Express Electrical Constructors Scholarship in memory of Hat Souther goes to an electrical construction student who plans to further their education in the electrical field. This year's recipient is Charles Gillespie, Jr. Embark is a high school to college transition program designed for high school students who are unsure about what comes next. Students who participate in the program begin in their junior year of high school and continue through their second year of community college. Students who have been enrolled in the program for the past year have had the benefit of exploring community college education and working with an Embark advisor to help guide them through academic, personal, and financial resources to help them be successful in and beyond community college. Recipients of this scholarship will be awarded $2,000 spread out over the course of two years. And our four recipients are Riley Stock, who will be attending KVCC, Jordan Boone, who is attending KVCC, Corey Patnow, who is attending SMCC, and Josh Brown, who is attending Washington County Community College. Good evening, this is Patrick with Franklin Savings Bank. First off, congratulations to all of you on your achievements. Uh, we wish you the best in your future endeavors. Tonight, uh, I'm here with the honor of presenting two scholarships in the amount of 1,500 each to one to Evelyn Fish and Amanda Neese. Congratulations, girls. The h and Tunkel Scholarship goes to an electrical construction student who plans to further their education in either the electrical or the engineering fields. This year's recipient is Braden McCarty. Hi, my name is Nancy Martin, and I would just first of all like to congratulate the entire class of 2020 and their families um, on your graduation. I suspect that you will never forget your high school graduation for a number of reasons. I would like to commend Somerset Career and Technical Center for all you've done to make this ceremony possible. So the Melmac Education Foundation funds a scholarship that's awarded to a graduating senior from every high school and career and tech center across the state. The scholarship is given to a senior in recognition of outstanding contributions to the community in which the recipient lives, to the lives of others, and in particular, to acknowledge the difference this person has made to Somerset Career and Technical Center. And while we honor and name the recipient of this $2,000 scholarship, the actual reward will be credited to the second semester of college study. So on behalf of David Dorr and the Foundation's Board of Directors, I am so pleased to announce this year's recipient from Somerset Career and Technical Center will be attending Thomas College in the fall. Please join me in congratulating Brianna Mushro. I am here to represent the Elks and the scholarships that the Elks give out. And uh, tonight we have uh, multiple winners. The Elks typically give out about $10,000 locally and millions of dollars nationally. We do have students that can apply national and we have students that uh, can apply for local scholarships. We do have a, a national on the state level winner this year, Emma Duffy, and I believe she'll be announced on the uh, Skywagon High School side also, but uh, she received a $4,000 scholarship at the uh, state level and, and her name went on to the national level. This year we have a past exalted ruler is Lydia LaPointe, a $500 winner. We have a Rob Marcia Memorial Scholarship, goes to Emma Viles, for $500.
We have a Savage Family Memorial Scholarship for Eli Blodgett for $500. Nathan Granda Family Memorial Scholarship goes to Meredith Kit Mitchell for $500. And we have the Amanda Berry Memorial Scholarship goes to Samantha Bunnell for $500. The other scholarships that the uh, Elks gave away for $500 winners was Andrew Ireland, Madison Damon, Emma Duffy, Romeo Sabri, and $250 winners go to Meredith Mitchell and Samantha Bunnell. We'd like to congratulate uh, those students on the honor of receiving those scholarships and we wish them the best of luck. I'm pleased to be awarding the last scholarship of the evening and this scholarship is the Linwood and Betty Turcott Family Scholarship. Linwood Turcott was our first director at Skowhegan Regional Vocational Center many, many years ago. Since leaving as the first director, Linwood and his wife have been continuously supporting our students by providing a scholarship every year since. This year's scholarship is going to Emma Viles. Emma is in the co-op program and has also done the CNA program. She's headed to Kennebec Valley Community College in the fall for the Health Science Certificate Program. Congratulations, Emma, great job. Now we'll be moving on to the completer ceremony of tonight's award ceremony. Thank you. Tonight, students will be honored virtually. We will honor our students with a silver cord for students to wear at their high school graduation. The silver cord represents completing the program at Somerset Career and Technical Center. Each instructor will make contact with the students to give out cords and certificates. The first instructor to recognize his students is Mark Wilson, Automotive Technology. Hey, thank you, Kevin. I'm happy to announce the following students have completed my program. Uh, Ian Brewer, David Edgecombe, Lindsay Morse, Caleb Ouellette, Clay Porter, Jeffrey Rogers, Samuel Shields, and Ebony Walls. And I'd like to wish you all great things in your future, and don't ever hesitate to come back and tell me all your great life stories. Back to you, Kevin. These are students from Pierre Beck High School. Hunter Avery, Ashley Cates, Summer Cole, Damon Rogers, Sky Welch. From Madison High School, Glenn Harrington, Riley Merrill, Aaliyah French, Carolyn McRae. From Skywigan High School, Sadie Abbott, Cheyenne Anthony, Ivy Bickford, Samantha Bunnell, Jordan Boone, Brittany Brown, Abigail Buckingham, Gabrielle Campbell, Kaylee Dion, Lindsay Dow, Hannah Ellis, Brianna Falkenham, Nicholas Fennell, Adam Folsom, Christian Gordon, Taylor Holt, Faith Keith, Sydney Curtis Knight, Malia Luce, Charisma McDougall, Dalton Mary, Libby Pelletier, Kelsey Presby, Rachel Rosignell, Olivia Schrader, Troy Tessier, Emma Viles, Taylor Whitaker, Emma York. From Upper Kennebec Valley, Trey Costello, Allison Messer, Jillian Miller. Now I'd like to introduce Katie Flubb, Cooperative Education Instructor. Thank you, Kevin. The students that I would like to recognize from MCI Co-op are Isaac Buzzle, Vivian Duncombe, Eliana Geary, Samantha Leonard, Emily Linklater, Sarah Linklater, Lycia Miller, Maria Reed. Thank you. 
Thank you, Katie. Good evening. My name is Lacey Butters. I teach the CNA program at Somerset Career and Technical Center. I am going to introduce the class of 2020. Kylie Bean, Harmony Beckwith, Caitlin Berry, Shania Bouchard, Brooklyn Brown, Leah Buzzle, Hannah Chaput, Chloe Cook, Sierra Corson, Devin Duran, Hannah Ellis, Belle Farnham, Haley Foss, Molly Frost, Alexia Gagne, Crystal Harris, Riley Houghton, Brooklyn Hubbard, Angelina Kuntz, Alyssa LeClaire, Lindsay Long, Riley Louder, Charisma McDougall, Holly Moody, Caitlin Netto, Adriana Oliveira, Libby Pelletier, Kaylee Perkins, Haley Poulin, Krista Reynolds, Josh Rogers, Tarsha Searois, Alyssa Steary, Allie Tilton, Abby Toll, Rachel Tuck, Isabel Turgeon, Braylin Vanetta Stein, Michaela Warren, and Colby Wilkerson. Next up is Chef Crate from Culinary Arts. Thank you, Ms. Butters. Um, so we are going to go ahead and uh, uh, name off all the uh, completers for 2020. Um, first is Hunter Bertone, Evan Clark, Madison Damon, Isaac Gumont, Duncan Kuntz, Dylan Leach, Evelyn Pish, Gage Plummer, Brandy Thibodeau, and Logan King. Uh, and those are the 2020 uh, completers for culinary arts. Um, next up is Mr. Jeremy Bork for digital graphics. I'd like to present the completers for the digital graphics program. Cassidy Ayot, Ziggy Black, Logan Carter, Caitlin Kotelnikoff, Riley Larry, Rone Little, Cricket McGee, Thomas Mallet III, Andrew Mayhew, Isabel McLaughlin, Amanda Neese, Corey Patnode, Zachary Small, Anika Stewart, Cheyenne Stubbs, and Caitlin Wallace. Congratulations, students, and I wish you the best of luck in the future. Hi, I'm Jen France, the Early Childhood Instructor. Congratulations to our graduating seniors. Callie Bailey, Eliza Maley, Allison Messer, Brianna Machero, Taylor Seavey, Riley Stock, Caitlin Van Vliet, Mallory Whitley, Jerrica Wiles. Good luck to everyone. Next up is Eric Sylvain, Electrical Construction. The completing students for the Electrical Construction Program this year are Nick Burgo, Zach Fitzgerald, Charles Gillespie Jr., Blake Gronda, Bryson Hatfield, Chase Immediato, Braden McCarty, Keenan Morris, and Hanson Toll. All right. Good evening. I'm Alana Wakeham, and I'm the career counselor at SCTC. Tonight, we'll be introducing the students from our EMT class. Sherry Volta is the instructor, but she was unable to be present tonight. The students in this class are Josh Baker, Maxwell Bowden, Lydia Dorr, Kurt Goldsmith, Emily Gould, Caitlin Labonte, Alana McCarran, Mariah Reed. And the next program is Job Skills. Hello, my name is Dan Foss. I work in the Job Skills program here at the Somerset Career and Tech Center. Mrs. Saucier and I will be reading the names from our Job Skills program. Hi, this is Janelle Saucier, and I'm working with Dan. And our first 
2020 class is James Edgecombe, Ruben Gould, Holden Harris, Olivia Hassel, and Logan Herbert. Tyler Kaiser, Lemuel Kimball, Harley Sanborn, Travis Trimble, and Austin Wyman. The next program coming up will be Outdoor Leadership, Instructor Sarin Sarin. Good evening, uh, this is Mr. Sarin from Outdoor Leadership and Skills. I'd like to uh, introduce my uh, graduates from the program. Number one, uh, first student is gonna be Romeo Sabri. Josh Brown, Caden Doan, Ricky Gordon, Daniel Hills, Riley Mayhew, Abel Mulan, Charles Quimby, Zach Walter. Hi everyone, my name is Kim McHugh and I teach pre-engineering at Somerset Career and Technical Center. Here's my list of completers for the year 2020. Braden Allward, Trenton Basford, Kyle Bean, James Brand, Isaac Boucher, Chase Carey, Mitchell Churchill, Olivia Drakes, Emma Duffy, Olivia Hatch, Rachel Hatfield, Eben Hilton, Andrew Ireland, Ryan Kotelnikoff, Megan Libby, Cameron Lauder, Colby Medore, Justice Maker, Mackenzie McConnell, Nathan Miller, Meredith Mitchell, Gage Morgan, Bryson Olbert, Hunter Olson, Kenneth Reed, Hannes Rochelle, Alberto Rigoni, Gary Sally, Ella Seren, Eliza Seabroyce, Cameron Smart, Jacob Steves, Abigail Washburn, and Spencer Wyman. Congratulations to you all. I am Vern Worthen II, the new residential construction instructor at SCTC. Uh, Tonight, I would like to recognize my 2020 residential construction completers. Uh, I want to thank you all for being a uh, wonderful inaugural class. So I will start with the first student, Eli Blodgett, Chance Toll, my third student, Travis Turner, Chris Williams, Anthony Dow, Charles Morgan, and last but not least, Spencer Honeywell, congratulations. I wish you all the best moving forward and hope that we continue to have uh, communication as you continue through life. You guys were wonderful and I thank you very much. Uh, now I pass on the uh, torch to uh, my next instructor, Sam Baker, uh, from the welding program at SCTC. Hi, I would like like to recognize the following students for completion of the welding program. Tucker Temple, James Harper, Adam Folsom, Hunter Swihart. Thank you very much. Thank you again for uh, viewing our final award ceremony. Join with me in congratulating all our students and our completers. Remember, once, once a, a student of SCTC, you are always a student at SCTC. You are always welcome to come, tell us your stories, come and see us if you need any help. We are always here to help you. Thank you again. Good night.